what is going on brothers and sisters welcome back to autonauts the settlement mode we have a few things i want to get done today one of them being i want to set up a team to build my blueprints for me so and i also want to build a scooter so let's change this to scooter i just built up two crude wheels here we we'll grab a plank and three poles so put that plank in my pocket one two three poles and we'll do this and then when we equip this bad boy we will move just a little faster and so while we were gone in my little intermission there, I did complete all the research. You can see things are starting to get stockpiled now, which is very nice. Also gonna build a backpack. Let's get five planks and two poles. So first of all, we'll do uh, four planks. Actually, go so five planks right there. Bam, there's five planks, two poles. There we go. All right, now I got myself a backpack. We'll also equip this. So now I can hold two things in my little backpack, which is very, very nice. So now we got a few things to work on today. I also got, I left most things unchecked so we can look at them together. We got the basic workbench unlocked. So I'm gonna throw this up here as well. There we go, there's one. We've got the crude huts unlocked, which we'll get a couple of those built in a little while. And then we also got some crude mixing pots. So I'm actually going to throw two of those down in here. Actually, you know what? I might as well just throw everything. Then I'll throw down um, a couple huts. I'll put them kind of far, though. We'll see how that works. So now let's get some blueprint boys set up. Let's grab you. You are going to be BP dropping logs. So let's learn you. You are going to come over here and grab a log. And I'm going to have him do it until his hands are full not retrieve so he's gonna do that and stow until his hands are full because as we upgrade him or we just give this code to someone else it's all set to take maximum capacity then while you have a log in your hand i need you to come out here i need you to find a blueprint in this area i'm gonna try and keep it like this perhaps we'll move this eventually and i want you to do this until your hands are empty and then go forever oops hold on stop I need to add in a retrieve right there and then go until his hands are empty. Okay. Then we're pretty much going to do the same thing. I could build a crude data disc, but I just don't want to. I hate crude data discs. They're very crude. So, uh, BP, um, shipping or just planking, just planking. So we'll hit this. Then we're going to do the same thing here. You are going to do this and stow until your hands are full and then you're going to come out here drop them and retrieve you're going to do this until your hands are empty and then you'll do it forever change this to actually hold on let's pause real quick pause this uh no no just stop let's build a sign we're going to set up a bp station with a sign so that way we can always move it so let me grab a pole and two planks so let's grab the pole two planks and we'll show you how to set up signs set up coding with signs instead of just locality and signs work better because normally you can get them in a bigger location than you could a bot so for instance here we can get a 16 by 16 instead of a 12 by 12. So if i set this up here i'm actually going to set it back a little bit like this that's great and i'm just going to plop it down like that actually i need to pick it back up this is um blues clues over here because it's the blue zone okay i didn't save blues clues enter no no just check mark there it is blues clues all right bam that's good and because of that i need to move a few things here because those aren't quite in you know i'll just move the sign we'll just move the sign for now so that everything is in there there we go so now if we take you for instance hit stop hit the little locality and change this to select target and then we'll put them on blues clues bam bam that's good then we've got where's that other guy where is he just planking record this select target blues clues go have fun and then the last one will be BP fell off the pole 
fell off the pole. Uh, no, just pull. Just pull. Thank you. Record. We'll do the same thing. So you're going to come over to the poles. I want you to take and stow until your hands are full. And then I want you to come out here into this locality. Retrieve and do this until your hands are empty and go forever. Have fun. All right. And that is our basic bots. So let's grab these bots. I made a team called 3D Printees. And these guys are gonna be the crux of all of our blueprints. So we'll just set up a spot over here. And now if I ever move the sign, so will my station. So I don't have to change the bots ever again. You can see I did something very similar here with my defroster sign. I don't know why he's not uh, digging up the hole that's there because it's clearly within, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna bring it over here now. And now you can see that he just started to move automatically because in this zone are tree stumps and or holes for him to do. And you'll also see this bot over here because I have him set to pick up, to knock out the bushes and flowers within the area. So he'll do that as well. But actually, with that in mind, I think I want to move just a... Can I move a little bit more? Yeah, right here is good. We'll put it here because then that one flower is in the zone too. And so all these guys will start working together. Oh, that's full. Do I have any BP boxes made yet? Not yet. Let me just move one of these to like right here. So they go to fill that up first. I need to increase the storage size of our, of our turf here because he's still picking it up, but we don't have room. And we can see this is going pretty well. I got a boulder in the way here, but it's fine. It'll just live there for now. Looks like I'm getting short on... Oh, hold on. He has a kill a bit free, so I can do this forever. Then have him exit the loop so he can go get his spade. There we go. That's good. All right. We are looking fantastic. So I'm just going to kind of let this do its thing for a little while here. Oh, these are nice and filled up. So we can even do this now. Let's take our bots here. I think I can just throw them in, then move them again after. It's all right, so now they've, they're they at level two. So it doesn't matter if you put them in here prematurely. I don't have food ready for level two WUV yet, but that's not a problem because they're going to generate WUV based off of the lowest tier item they receive. So for instance, if you had tier five, everything, but you fed them only berries, which is a tier one food, you would only get tier one WUV, which is this right here. So keep that in mind. So it's not a bad thing to get everything built up prematurely like this. So we've got our we've got our storages down here. It's looking great. Put this over here. So they'll just slowly grow on their own. It's okay. As I need more wuv, they'll feed them and we'll get tier one wuv. Not a big deal. But right now, it's all I can get anyways until we work on a few more of these. So you can see. We need to get spiced berries made and folks fed. So I'm thinking maybe I do a small kitchen here. No, that's too small of an area. Well, I can expand and make a kitchen here anyway. So yeah, we'll do a kitchen over here. So I should have one of these here is ready. I'll put it right next to us for now. I think I like this. Which way do I like better? I think this is fine. Yeah, because then they'll just walk in a straight line across. So we'll set this up to be berries. So you see that? We're going to need weeds. So we need to set up a weed field. And I'm thinking of maybe doing a weed field. I think over here. I don't know. Where do I want my weeds? Maybe I do weeds on the outside just to kind of make a different natural barrier. Nah, that won't look good. How do I want to make it look good, but still functional? I'm going to set up a quick team here to go and get us our weeds. Plop that down, plop that down. 
I can put this over here now so we can start putting all that away, which is fantastic. And then I'm going to put a plot right here like this. So let's grab it. You, I don't know what I want to call these guys. I'm just going to call them weeder for now, just until I figure out a name. So I need you to come over here and grab a, Oh no, not you. Um, you go again. Make one of these real fast. Okay. Now I grab a weeder. Learn. Grab a, this. Do this if your hands are empty. Come over here. And I need you to weed. You're going to de-weed all of this for us. But I'm not sitting it up with a sign because he's not. this isn't going to be a permanent spot for him. So, so I want you to do this. De-weed forever. Go. Uh, stop. Do this. Now go. And then he is just going to be weed gather. Weed roller. I need you to come over here. I want you to just find loose weeds. Do this until your hands are full. And then go put them in here. Until your hands are empty. And go. After I change your locality. Like this. There we go. All right, there we go. Now we'll get some weeds brought in. So here's my thought process. I don't want to do berries. Berries is too easy. So I'm going to make the berry field over here maybe just look overgrown. And I'm going to just put weeds down the middle of the berries. It's not efficient though. That's that's my issue is that it's not an efficient place. So not sure how I feel about it. Oops. Put that in my pocket. Maybe I'll do a weed field over here. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly what we'll do. Let me grab holy moly. Stop. Actually, we don't need to dig for that. So you stop. Let's grab another bot who can slowly get this up. And obviously we are very low on planks, but it's fine. They'll start to slowly come back. Grab that, put that away. Grab my log, put that in here. Grab the tree seed, make a bot. I'm pretty sure those don't need plant weed. Plant weeds, the worst farmer ever. I want you to come over here. I want you to do this until your hands are full. And then I want you to come over here. So if I make this go across here, let's go like four deep like this, I think. Yep. Okay, and that's how deep that's gonna go. Plant that. Go forever. And then actually copy, paste, change this. I think I want to keep the weeds looking like weeds, actually. No, I, I want it to still be efficient, so I'll I'll do it just like this. So that way they have a path to run down still. Two kilobits free, do it forever, and go. Okay. So now we'll have a little weed farm starting here. And I need to grab you. Need you to find the nearest turf over here, and I'm also going to have to have him have someone start chopping grass soon, but I need a scythe for that. Or a blade. But we don't have either of those, so that's fine. Let's grab my D Forester. Oh, there was weeds over here too. And I want to come over here. I want to clean up this little area, I think. Yep, that works. All right, they'll get to work again. Or at least one of them will. That's good enough for me. All right, we got that working. And I think, like we said, temporarily we'll do berries for now because that's all we can do at the moment. So let's set up a cook bot. 
First things first, actually, just move the basic bot bench over here. I'm going to delete all these completed stuff. All right, cool. Let those build back up a bit. So we actually have got our basic bot bench here. So we can make some heads, some bodies, and some new legs for all of our bots. Which is fantastic. It's exactly what we want to see. That also means I can start assembling new bots with bot heads, bot bodies, and bot drives. So why don't we do this here? Let's set up. Um, they go in on that side, huh? Let's do do something like this for the moment. Oopsies. I'll move you here. And we'll do something like this. Yes. All right, let's get a couple bots. So I'm going to make a... We only need a couple specific things, but I kind of like to make everyone look unison. So let me make a few of these. All right, I made enough to make myself four new bots to start us off with. So if we throw this on here, one head, one body, and one leg, and that's, you know, a plank and a tree seed, two planks and a pole, and then log plank pole, we get ourselves a new, brand new Mark one bot. Now we can get all of our other bots upgraded as well. So we can work on that eventually. And I do want to get some poles. I want to get some crude brain upgrades as well. So we're going to have a full system here. Let me grab, um, let me just grab one of these because I'm not sure what I need for this. I want to see if I can get a guy to build one entire bot for me. So what is this? I need two poles. I want to see if I have the brain capacity here. All right, so first things first, let's do a plank and let's make let's get a bot to make heads, okay? So this is planks and tree seeds. So you are going to be an MK1 head. So he's going to need a tree seed. Stow it. Grab a plank. Place the plank. Oh, that's a pole. Grab a plank. Oh, I don't have any planks. All right. Then what I'm going to do is change this to move to planks like this. Then I'm going to just hit retrieve real quick. Add here. And then I want him to retrieve. and do that again. I'm going to have to stop him though because we're out of planks. I'm going to need to increase our our output here. It, it ain't it right now, but that's okay. We'll come back to this. This is kind of like a nice to have. We can increase bot intelligence this way. So why don't we show you how that's done? So let me grab two heads. So if we come over here, we de commission some bots you're already decommissioned if we hold control and right click we replace the body parts but the bots have to be off so we place the heads obviously we'll have new trash heads so we gotta build a thing later to demolish those but look we got funny little bender bots now it's chubby bender but now we can take a bot like this and slowly make them better and for that i don't even think i want to put body on them. Let's get some hybrids out here. Let's grab two legs. We'll throw that on you. And that on you. Actually, you know what? I don't even need these guys to be fast yet. Give them the MK zeros for now. I'll put these here. So what I need for you guys is to do this. Let me grab some boxes. I'm going to put them right here for the moment because I'm not sure where I want these. So you, for instance, I want you to be basic. Or I want you to be crude. Crude axe. Okay. So now I want you to do this. So he's going to move from the stick storage. Take a stick. Then I want you to... Oh, you know what? He needs the body in order to retrieve. All right. Yep. That's fine. So let me grab two bodies here. Might as well get these upgraded now, I suppose. I forgot the bodies is what made them store stuff. And I might as well just put the legs on them so they moved a little faster. Clean this up for a second. Okay. So we'll start again. Record. 
And I want you to come over here, take from this. So he's going to take a stick, stow it, then he's going to take a stone. Then he's going to come over here and add it. Then he's going to retrieve and add again. And then he's going to find an axe. I need to stow my item. Then you're going to find an axe. And then you're going to go put it in here. Then do that forever. Okay. And now what I'm just going to do real fast, because we have so many of these just kind of laying out here. I'm going to put all this away. I think I hit the... I got something wrong in the code there, because look, it's not moving. Double check what I did. Okay, that's full. Oh yeah, you, you have to have the add. I, I don't understand why... Oops, I don't understand why this has to be in here, but it is what it is. Set that up. I'm gonna do that. You still confused? So he moves to the stick and he stows it. Oh, you know what it probably was? Let's stop you. Drop everything. It's because he probably had a he had a stick in his inventory and in his hand. So he's moving to the stick storage, stowing it. Moving to the stone storage, moving here, adding, retrieving, adding. Let me see if that actually fixed the issue with having to move there again. Go do it again for me. Got some more bot stations complete. We're just waiting on planks. That did fix that, okay. Then he'll go and retrieve. And then he's just going to sit there and wait. Now what I do is I tell... Where's my axe, boy? So find the nearest crude axe. Actually, I need to tell him to specifically come over here and do this. Delete that out. So now when his hands are empty, he'll move to the storage unit and put them over here. I do need to put all those away. So what I think I'm going to do is we'll build a couple of these over here too. And then we'll get this also done for pickaxes and shovels. So, and it's obviously the... Oh, whoops. It's obviously the same exact code, we just changed the thing. So why don't I show you how to use a bot data disk in order to do a simple thing like this. So I'm just going to move that there. I'm going to grab this shovel and put it in here. We'll set the next one up to be for shovels. So let me make a... Let me close this off here. Oh, it's not here that we make it. Is it here for the crude data disk? Yeah, it's right here. So with this... Two planks, two poles, and two tree seeds. Throw these down. Okay, got my disc. So control left click to copy from, control right click to copy to. So they have to be off. So let me turn you off and drop that. Copy. And then upload. Now obviously we don't want them doing the same thing, right? So we do this instead. So now we come over here. So he's still taking from the stick storage, stowing it, taking from the stone storage. But then he's going to move over to crude workbench number three. Add, retrieve, add again. Then he's going to find... Let me do this. Let me grab a shovel. Put that right here. And then he's going to get rid of this. Change this to be this storage unit. And delete these real quick. All right, now you're gonna, oops. Find the nearest spade, move, pick up. Make sure you got it in the right order. So add to the crude workbench, that'll create it. Find, move, pick up, add, go. And do that forever. So that's the, that's a nice way to do that. Cause that'll change, then you can just change the little bits and pieces of the code you want. All right, so he's gonna be a little bit. So why don't we change you to 
Um, crude pick. Crude nose picker. All right, trash your code. I need you to come down here. Stop though. Come here. I'm gonna take this. We're gonna upload our data. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. And actually what I wanna do is I wanna change these names. So, crude, crude Axe Craft. No, uh, Bench. The same thing with the Shovel, Crude. Shovel Bench. Just a lot easier when you have names like this and you're looking at code to know exactly what they're doing and they're in the right spot. Crude, Pick. Bench. Okay. That change names? No. Because I hit a scope. Crude. Pick. Bench. Enter. Okay. Now I can close. Great. So now we come into this code. So you can see he's he would be going to the crude axe bench. Let's change him to the crude pick bench. Crude axe bench. Do that. And then we're going to have to change that, this, that. I'm going to pause that for a second, grab a pickaxe. Oh, we have pickaxes. I need you to record. I need you to find the pickaxe here. Okay, and then add to the crude pick storage. Now you may continue on with your life. Now, good, we got a few boxes down. But what I'm going to do is this. Let me take this box, put that here, put one of these on top so I can fill this up. He just got messed up in his code though, so hold on. You stop, drop. I hate how like when there's like an item on the ground, you can't put a walking spot down. It's so silly to me that in here as well. I'll start the other bot back up in a second. I'm just going to manually fill these. You can also set up codes for them like, you know, pick up, store, etc. But they're only making one at a time, so that's really that's really a non-issue for us. Oh, he picked up the one I was trying to pick up. There we go. That's good. Oh, did I accidentally... I accidentally took a spade. There you go. <laughs> There's your spade, buddy. All right, now you can start off again. You can just stop what you're doing. Grab this axe, put that up in here. There we go. Now, let's go fix a few bots. So, like, we just need to come over here and tell this guy, come here. Do this when your hands are empty instead. Bam. Now he'll come to the storage unit. Um, I need to fix gopher for the same to be this. Gopher's doing a great job. You keep it up. Pheasant's also doing a great job. Spade, come over here. Pick it up, put it down. Put that over here when your hands are empty. Okay. And I think the last one might be our, our stone miner here. Put that in there. <coughs> There we go. That should be pretty much everyone. Actually, holy moly, he's not all set up. But he'll get there. What's wrong with you? What's in your hand? Nothing. Until your hands are empty. Oh, that's nice and full. Boop. Beautiful. So we'll get that filled up. Now we'll get our weeds down. So in the next episode, we'll start working towards tier two. We'll get our spiced berries complete. And then maybe we'll start learning about some of the other foods that are coming. We do need to get uh, Wub times 10 made and stored, but we need to get better food for that. And that'll be also getting the spice berries made. So that'll complete this. And we'll also complete the weed farm. So next we'll be heading into the stage four, which is a hamlet. So if you're finding this useful and fun, make sure you hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already. I don't know why you've made it this far and haven't subscribed. But if you've got a reason, 
tell me down below and also we do need to work on um better planking here so we'll also put better planking structure in and then get just maybe like one or two bots just to hammer these out until we can speed it up naturally but all right brothers and sisters as usual this has been shabby do and hope the rest of your day is not too shabby <laughs>